Hey, just trying to get some logical switches working on the TX16S Radio Master on 2.3.9 firmware. <coughs> so I have uh, logical switch one when A is less than X. So A is the throttle, X is 99. And also when switch H is activated, switch H is a two position switch uh, on my radio. So when the switch is on and the throttle is below, it will arm. Now I've got a sticky here so that when switch H stays on and LO1 was on, LO2 should stay on and then LO2 under special functions is overriding the throttle to minus 100%. So, sorry, LO2 is not on. So basically, <clears throat> basically we have an arm switch that will only arm when the throttle is below 99. Great, that's the theory. So now, if we jump into the model and we switch through to our logical switches and have a look so let's turn off logical switch h throttle is at zero so everything is off switch h is off logical switches are off sticky is off etc if i try and move the throttle nothing's working because the logical switches are off if i put the throttle at zero and turn on switch h logical switch one activates and because logical switch one is activated and switch h is on logical switch two activates great and now my throttle works however if I kill by disarming, logical switch two is off, perfect. If I turn it back on now, logical switch two has activated. It's ignoring the position of logical switch one. So it's just activating the switch H and not uh, recognizing that uh, switch one is on. So it will arm wherever, even though switch one still turns on and off, logical switch one as the throttle drops below 99. But disarming and rearming, logical switch two just comes on all the time. So it's ignoring logical switch one. Now there was a suggestion to add in an extra here for switch H down as well. And now if we go into simulation, rip back through to our logical switches. <clears throat> okay, everything's off, everything's off, great. Up the throttle, arm it. Nothing happens. Great, that's perfect. Logical switch two doesn't arm. If we pull the throttle back below, logical switch one turns on, logical switch two turns on, and we now have a sticky on logical switch two. Perfect. Love it, works great. Now if we disarm, everything turns off. Perfect, works great. Now if we rearm, I don't know if you noticed, but logical switch two flashed on for a split second and then back off again, even though all conditions are met. If I turn switch H off and back on, this time it does turn on. If I turn it off and back on, it flicks and turns back off. Alternatively, if I raise the throttle and drop it, it will turn on. If I raise the throttle and drop, it now stays on. That's great. If I turn it off, everything's off. I rearm, it doesn't arm, as correctly it shouldn't. Drop the throttle to zero, it arms. Switch off, switch back on, it doesn't. Switch off, switch back on, it does. Switch off, switch back on, it doesn't. So I can either switch it off and back on to toggle sticky two on or raise the throttle and drop it to switch it on. So it's not really acting like a sticky logical, sticky switch on the logical. I just don't understand what's going wrong. I'm open for any suggestions. Uh, thanks, guys.